And as the rising cases of insecurity in the country continue to attract comments from Nigerians from different walks of life, the Northern Youth Progressive Network has fingered crude oil theft as the major cause of insecurity that has continued to plague the country despite huge resources committed by the federal and state governments to fight the scourge and in protecting the nation's oil infrastructures. In a population of over 200 million, what is the strength of our Navy? What is the capacity? What is the number of our Navy? What is the, the, the number of the Nigerian Army Police Force? You can see that it, is, it has been overwhelmed, considering the fact that there are challenges in northern Nigeria where the military has been overstretched, where the civil defense has, where all security agencies have been overstretched. So bringing in private security to collaborate, most especially private securities, who are committed towards the growth and development of this great nation, Nigeria, I think it must be encouraged. Because even in the United States, there are private securities that augment or consolidate the US Army. So it, 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 there's nothing bad about it. And today we are stating unequivocally that uh, Tantita uh, security outfit has done a marvelous job. And whether it is right to engage a private security outfit to secure the nation's pipelines when we have enough security agencies to be doing the job. A group says no security is ever enough to protect the nation's most prized assets that contributes 80% of the nation's GDP. We salute His Excellency President Ahmed Bola Tinubu GCFR for renewing the contract engagement. This can be possible without former President Muhammad Buhari, who was a pioneer of inviting private security to manage our critical oil infrastructure. We only had thought that it would be expanded to cover the entire Niger Delta. We consider the decision of Malam Melekiari as patriotic and noble, just as the decision of late President Umoru Musa Adua, who granted amnesty to Niger Delta militant, which eventually became a lasting solution to the crisis in the Niger Delta. We are optimistic that the engagement of Tantita Security Service Nigeria Limited will bring a permanent solution to the issue of oil theft in Nigeria. The Center for African Liberation and Socioeconomic Rights, a CALSA, has raised an alarm over an alleged plot to blackmail the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ogala. Speaking at a press conference on Monday in Abuja, convener Professor Thomas Uza said oil thieves are on the prowl, seeking the head of the Naval Chief for threatening their illicit business. The Nigerian Navy, in recent times, has rejigged this operation, which has resulted in a drastic reduction of illicit trade in the nation's waterways. This position has pitched the Nigerian Navy against those vested interests that have milked the country dry through illicit activities. Therefore, the allegations of corruption, crude, oil theft, and procurement fraud leveled against the chief of naval staff are a manifestation of the slander campaign orchestrated by those whose illicit businesses have suffered setbacks as a result of the improved operational efficiency of the Nigerian Navy since the appointment of Vice Admiral Emmanuel Gala as the Chief of Naval Staff. Oil thieves are on the probe, seeking the head of the Chief of Naval Staff as a means of getting him out of the way so that they can continue with the illicit trade. The allegation that the Chief of Naval Staff received monies in exchange for granting passage to vessels loaded with stolen crude oil remains a figment of the imagination of the promoters of the story. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.